Hey, hey everyone and welcome back to the Paradox Machine. We are back for some more Biomutant. Uh, last time we had just taken over the, the enemy tribe's um, outpost, so we are going to pick up right where we left off. So without further ado, let's just dive right into the game. All right, uh, looks like we have to go visit Goop and we have a new Wung Fu skill that we can take a look at, it looks like. Um, Jangai or Jagni Tribe Staff. Okay. All this stuff looks really cool, actually. Oh, that looks really cool. All right, so let's make sure we have that equipped. There it is, Jagni Tribe Staff. Does 225 to 450, it's two-handed, weight class medium, attack speed, looks like it's about 50. Crit chance, 5%, not bad. Um, yeah, we're gonna give this a try for sure. Cool. Don't forget the past. Learn from it. All right. How long can I sustain that? I wonder. Not too long. All right. Let's move on. Let's see if there's anything we can loot here first, though. Got to continuously look for that loot. God, this staff is huge compared to my character. That's hilarious. Interact. Anything over here that's fun and interesting? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, there we go. What do we get here? A magazine, small clip. Is this an add-on, I wonder? It must be. Quality lousy one, uncommon, composite one. Okay. It's over here. Ooh. Sorry about that. Allergies have been killing me today. We are going to go ahead and equip Not this, I think. Size, but it'll work. Doors everywhere. <laughs> Takes me a little bit of everywhere, it looks like. Okay, but we gotta go that way. Uh. Ooh, what do you want? Figures Looper Lupin is so strong he makes us all feel weak. But they know where you can find a strong making machine. A muscle squeezer. Muscle squeezer? That sort of thing can make even someone like you stronger. Yeah, what the hell is a muscle squeezer? Says it's a machine that makes your arms bigger. Isn't that called a push-up? Once you find the muscle squeezer, you just got to figure out how to use it. It's all about moving heavy things, so you should be great at it. Right. Maybe we can't all be like you, but you can be even better. China. Says you're the one who can make the best use of it. Right. Okay, so we got a new subquest, it looks like. Find the muscle squeezer. Let's see what this guy wants. Gripes about how everyone looks like they crawled from the underworld these days. <laughs> It just complains because everybody's ugly. Their friend Trim is right now. There's no better fur dresser in the world. 
What's a fur dresser? Says they can see by the state of your fur that you really don't know. Oh, what a bitch. Complain's spurf top is a little too far, even though this woolly coat that requires furious daily care is in dire need of a trim, as you can see. If you see him, be sure to ask him to give you a makeover. Not that you need it, but you do need it. Okay. Well, uh, we'll be a little bit pretentious about that. Okay, so let's open up our map. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so what is this? Find a mount. Okay, that's something... I might be interested in doing for this episode. Old, old world knowledge. Okay. What is this? Captives. All right. The soaked one. Visit goop. Okay. Capture the rival outpost. And this is probably another one of those. Yes. The rival tribe. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at this. I am very much interested in getting one of those mounts. It says I'm like right on top of it, but okay. What is that? Is that it? That's a gnote. Easy a prey gnote? for Looper Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. Okay. A pit bush that's nom nom for the gnotes. No, no. Wow, they really actually said that. You found a pip plant. Glide under it to gather the pip seed. You can use pip seeds to tame free roaming mounts. Don't gotcha. Too much. Neat, I guess. I thought that was going to be more special than what it turned into. You can move and shoot while mounted. The mount will stay where you left it or where you left it. If you dismount, acquired mounts appear in each slot of your transport menu, apart from top slot, which holds the mount selected in your transport menu. If you want to call your last used mount to your current position, press down on the D-pad. OK. All right, let's look at some more stuff, I guess. Go to the transport tab to select which mount to spawn from the top slot in the transport menu. OK. So I got a Puki Azure Gnote. I mean, it's kind of cool looking, I guess. All right. Let's look at the map, see where we want to go now. So this is where we were. This is the goop that we're supposed to be visiting, apparently. And this was captives, one of 23 captives, fates decided. OK. I guess we will just go down and visit goop for right now. Where the hell do we need to go to visit the goop? Guess I should probably track that. What is this? This is the new one that we just picked up. Yeah. Or do we want to go get the muscle squeezer? Um, that's in an area we haven't discovered yet, so I think we're going to progress over there naturally by just moving straight over to the goop thing. Let's go check out goop. Resting places. You found a resting place. Here you can restore your health and key energy or just pass the time. All right, you insist. This is a lot faster. That is nice. I forgot that we have the goofiest sounding rifle known to man. Ooh, what's this? Guess I can, you know, do that better. There we go. Interact. Psy points. Cool. Found a weird That's thing. Looked at weird thing. Got some psy points. Nice.
That there's some Nautica here? station. Goop flounders around in there. All right. What are these things? These are things gonna try to kill me? Yeah, they look to be pretty, pretty calm. No one's trying to murder me right now. That's always nice. Looks like I just need to go down there. Got an achievement. Unlocked rodeo. Ride a ganat for 500 meters. Alright, look, I found some stairs. Goop! What up, Goop? You're an ugly son of a bitch. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you, you are that guy. Was so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it even at a distance. <laughs> Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. Tell me about my kindling hood. I remember you too. Tell me about Lupa or Lupa Lupin. Yeah, I remember you. He knows he's easy to remember. There's no one out there as cuckoo as him. He's one of a kind. You he sure are. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. I want revenge. He understands why you seek revenge, but he doesn't think you realize how that'll make you feel. Once you claimed it. See? On my side. Go, Dark, go. Okay. Only the Dark speaks in absolutes. Well, no. <laughs> I thought that was the Sith. Get snuffed, light. Let the light shine. Light eventually burns out. Just saying. Right. He figures the world is a goner. Even the goo will go gone gone. Wishes you hadn't done so much to make the goo even gooier. Wonders why you're flapping around with the Jagni. They spend too much time nesting to do anything fun. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. Okay. He should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. Okay, is it really that bad? I want to know what I'm getting into. The undersurf was the epicenter of the contamination. This was where it struck hardest and inflicted the biggest change to the ecosystem. All right, I guess that's good to know. What up, dude? Let's go. Oh, I can jump. Okay. Am I glitching through the floor? I think I am. Damn. All right, let's look at the map, see where we're supposed to be going. Okay. We're basically right on top of it. That's super helpful. What's this? Days are scarce. Don't waste them. Move out of the way, dog. 
or whatever you are. Apparently I can't interact with that? I'm confused. Oh, it's showing through the wall, really? That's annoying. How do I get out of here? Alright, enter the sewage tunnel. Let's go this way, see if that can get us there. Is that a sewage tunnel? That might be the sewage tunnel. Lots of notices on the board for things that made sense in the days when the surf was a lot cleaner. Interesting Andy. to see what they cared about here. Wonder if any of it matters now. In the old days, this was a port for boats that went under the surf. They helped clog the surf into goo. I clog it. Toxanol didn't do it on purpose, I don't think. Their machines made a mess, though, and they never cleaned up after themselves. You should be able to find a track here. Just need to keep your eyes open. Okay. See if I can get. I know this is like right back to where we were, but I want to see if there's a, another path through it. Doesn't look hey, like it. Oh, you found the track even around all this goopy goo. Nothing escapes your googly eye. Okay. The surf here looked cleaner when that track was made. Could they see beneath the surface? People went under surf. Okay. Old world dive pods had a built-in air supply so you could breathe below the surf. Glad you had the patience to learn more about how the surf got gooed. Okay. Apparently that was easy to complete. Cool. Now we just got to figure out how to get to that marker. Is this it? Am I being stupid? I think I was being stupid. I was being stupid. Don't drown in here now. It's time to create your own path. I want to try out this new weapon. I haven't found anything to fight though. Okay, that one it. Apparently you can't do that though. Like I couldn't even jump. That was weird. How All right, let's try this again. So I think. Can I interact with that thing? What? I don't know. Find a way to lower the goo. What's this? Double saw. Two-handed slash. Add-ons two. Weight class heavy. Crit chance two. Level needed eight. It looks like it does some massive damage though. It's uncommon. Rick rack three. Material rock coated. All right. You could put that to good use. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like, it's not giving me any options to grab this thing. I don't know. Let's just try to jump on it. Oh. Of course, of course. The most obvious is always the, the correct way to go. All right, let's see if we can take a look at this. Okay, so this one needs to be white to the white marker. There. Just a few moves left. Make them count. 
Oh no. Oh, I almost failed that. I pushed the wrong way on the damn joystick. That sucked. <laughs> Okay, lesson learned. Stay away from the ink looking goo shit. Ink looking goo shit's bad. Okay. Look, things to kill. What are you? Damn, dude. Holy shit. You weren't fucking around with that one. I like this weapon. Yeah, this is good. I like. And I think this is one of those walls that I can break, so let's go ahead and grab our big ass fist weapon. There we go. Smash! Fuck you all. You know what you did. What is this shit? Oh, another puzzle. You found a circuit board puzzle. To select which light is used, press Celestic. Okay. To change the color of a light, press A. Switching the color of one light will also change all adjacent lights. Use the moves you have to make all of the lights turn green. Okay. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Just had to find the pattern real quick. I wonder what happens if you fail, though. Like, is it going to shock the shit out of you? Or is it just like, oh, no, you don't get to do this? What are you? Large box magazine. Type magazine. Okay, Better let's... Let's take a look at our crafting menu. See if there's anything that I can be doing with that shit. Um. How do I get to my... All right. Apparently I can't do... What? Okay, so... I'm confused. Can I modify the gun, I wonder? Doesn't look like it. Why can't I use this, I wonder? Two-handed slash, two-handed slash, crush. Hmm. Can't I modify the gun? Doesn't look like it right now. I don't see any option for it. All right, we'll just hang on to all that shit. If we find a use for it later, we got it. Can't climb anything here. No. Is there anything that I can climb up? Doesn't look like it. What is back out here? Ooh, what are you? Ooh, Ronin shirt. Rare. Defunct 2. Meta 7. 
All right, that gives us a lot of key energy. Wow. Takes away a little bit of our health, but. Ooh. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a try just because the armor benefit is significant. Okay, so apparently we were going the right way and I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay, so we need to go up. Oh, is this a... Yeah, it is a thing. You found a climbing spot. Use the normal movement controls to control... Okay. It just didn't want to notify me of that right away. Oh, shit. What are you? What fresh hell is this? Ah, oh, you made me waste that, you dick. Oh, okay. Don't do that. They don't like that. It's messing around too much. Oh, neat. That was fun. I made it look sloppy, but I was figuring some stuff out. That's interesting. How fast does health regen? I wonder. Let's not mess around, though. Um. Health regen, we'll go with that one. Anything else over can pick up here? Doesn't look like it. All right, don't want to miss anything. Shit. The fuck are you? God, there is nightmares all over here. Damn. Oh, God damn. Damn, this thing is jacking me up. Did it grab me? I think it grabbed me. God damn, fuck you. Goo glide parts. Nice. Okay, now we can finish killing this thing. Oh, he grabbed me and I didn't dodge, no. Oh no! Did he just baseball bat me? Damn. This thing's not fucking around. Give me that dandy candy. Anything over here else I can get? What's this? God damn, you got that quickness in you. Scrup burst? What the hell is a scrup burst? Dolfino? Okay. Well, let's get back over here. There was a little med box I could open, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, right. Health regens. Cool. What's this shit? And we need more of this always. Bio points. What are you? Ooh, top mod, huh? Better accuracy? 
Okay. What is this? The electric module? Didn't mean to use that. Oops. All right, let's see where this wants me to go now. In here? Isn't that where we came in? No, it's not where we came in. We came from over there. What is this? Um, glass shard. Type add-on. Medium. Lots of attack speed, it looks like. Let's see if we can add that to anything. Gear. Craft. Modify. No add-on? What do the glass shards do then? I thought that would be like on your feet or something. Or maybe it's for a weapon, I don't know. Can we modify that shit? Doesn't look like we have any add-ons either. Nope. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Time to get crafty. Thank you for telling me that it's time to get crafting. Now. Doesn't look like I can do anything with any of this. Okay, resources. Crafting and modifying gear requires certain resources, as seen here. Scrapping parts and gear that you don't want will give you resources needed to craft, mod, and upgrade items. Okay. The quality of level of the item that will be shown here. Higher quality weapons deal more damage. The quality of, the item, of an item can be upgraded at an upgrade bench. Gotcha. The material that the item is made of will be shown here. Better materials make for stronger, more powerful weapons. The material of an item can be upgraded at an upgrade bench. Some pieces and add-ons add -ons have a special effect on them. These can deal hazard damage depending on the special effect. The combination of quality material and hazardous damage defines the overall rarity of the weapon. Upgrading a weapon will increase the rarity as well as the base stats. Each weapon has a different number of mod slots available to craft parts to. Gotcha. Okay. Flash shards. Okay, so interesting. Yes, I am going to have to play around with that. We'll figure it out. But I don't want to mess around too much for the, the sake of the length of this video. matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution of wildlife was as we know now, the only reason we came to exist. Gotcha. The what end is, this is, is another puzzle. World and everything else. Is there anything else over here I can loot or anything? Does not look like it. All right. Looks like the What's in here? Need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Do there we go. That one was easy. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Thank you. All right. Looks like we are back going back to goop. What up, Goop? He's got the Googlide functional. 
you will have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. Why the pull hook or what's a salvage net? Yeah, let's ask what that there is. are lots of valuables left behind on the surf floor that the salvage net will enable you to haul. You just need to find the right spots. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the surf epelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. The hell is a quack now? He's not sure, but the quacks are probably a leftover from a cargo surfer that went under in the olden days. The squeaky material must have made them surface when their box broke. Okay. Use the normal movement controls to drive the goo glide. The goo glide. You can boost the speed of the goo glide by pressing the left stick. To customize the goo glide, jump on it and use the call mountain button. All right, but I think that is where we're going to go ahead and call it an episode for today. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. But until next time, guys, I shall see you later.